We're just elated. Yeah. We're absolutely elated. Cindy and Ernie Romans haven't seen Sassy for 17 months. They thought she had been hit, killed by coyotes, or even taken by a hunter. We've pretty much given her up. In the midst of a move from 42 acres in the country to the city, the Romans had Sassy and their other dogs stay with family. Sassy was let out one night and never returned. Right. Didn't know. And, you know, we kept on waiting for her to come home because she always came home. Mm -hmm. Always. Except for this time. And in that 17 months, Sassy traveled three states. Turn ball. Get it, get it, get it. From Louisville, Sassy had been picked up and taken to a shelter in Boyd County, Kentucky. She was injured, possibly hit by a car. But before the shelter euthanized her, they called the Forever Home Beagle Rescue. And members agreed to take her to West Virginia. From there, Sassy healed and got a foster family out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's been a long 17 months, I'm sure, for her to be away from her family. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Right on cue. For two months, Hope Wilson and April Smith fostered Sassy. When Sassy got a cough, the vet checked her out and discovered a microchip. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. are you serious? Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> I was in total disbelief. And I said, yeah, she is, and her name is Sassy. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they said Sassy, her head turned. <laughs> and I said, you Sassy, and her tail started wagging mm -hmm. right away. With the information on the chip, Cindy and Ernie were notified. Pittsburgh, really? <laughs> you know, how does that happen? But it did, and now the Romans will be in Pittsburgh Friday to be reunited with Sassy. Everyone has just been such an angel with her, and I will never, ever, ever, ever be able to thank them enough for the wonderful care that they've given her.